Follow Name Explain on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, as well as joining my Facebook group, Friends of Name Explain, where you can chat with myself and many other name nerds. Check out the links down below. There are many places on our planet named after the explorer Christopher Columbus, with a huge majority of them being across North and South America. The reason so many places are named after him is relatively simple to explain. Columbus is seen by many as a hero in this part of the world. The man who, quote unquote, discovered America and opened it up to Europe, setting the continents on the path they are on to this day. The many nations of North and South America wouldn't be what they are today without him, for better or worse. This there's even a national holiday in his honour celebrated in many nations each October. So as someone who is seen as so important in this part of the world, it would make sense why so many places would be named after him. Places named after him include the likes of British Columbia in Canada, the District of Columbia where the US capital is found, and of course the entire nation of Colombia in South America. There are also many towns and cities in the states named after him, like Columbus, Indiana, Columbus, California, and Columbus, Texas. Although the most well-known of city with the name Columbus has to be the one found in Ohio, with a population of just over 900,000 and an area of almost 600 kilometers square, Columbus, Ohio has the honor of being the largest single city to bear his name. The city was founded in 1812, but prior to this the land was home to various Native American settlements. Upon its founding, it was immediately named after the man. What's interesting is that this city has no real connection to the real Christopher Columbus. From what I can gather, he never visited this part of the land during his travels or anything like that. The reason it was named after him was seemingly because one person wanted it to be. Apparently, a state lawmaker in the land really admired Columbus and pushed for the city to be named after him. This lawmaker seemingly got their way and the name was chosen. The city continued to grow and grow, becoming the 14th most populated city in the USA, and for 200 plus years that name has stuck around. Though in more recent years there has been some growing debate and concern about the name. In more recent history, the narrative around Columbus has changed substantially. While once universally seen as a hero of the Americas, Columbus's darker side has been brought more to light. He and his men did some very atrocious things to the natives they encountered on their travels, including murdering, enslaving, and kidnapping thousands of innocent people. I shan't go into too much detail here, but some of the stuff he did was barbaric. You can research it for yourself. The issues with this name were exacerbated during the events of May 2020. It was in this month that the murder of George Floyd took place in Minneapolis. The unnecessary death of this African American man at the hands of a white police officer sent shockwaves across the globe and opened up the conversation about race inequality and the people once deemed heroes now seen as villains. Many places what were now deemed as having insensitive names were changed and statues of people once celebrated were torn down. Even here in the UK we saw this happen too in places like Bristol where a statue of a man named Edward Colston was torn down and his name removed from the city. I actually did an amazing on-camera mini documentary about this around a year ago and it's great. Go watch it if you haven't already. The fact it's got so few views makes me really sad. Speaking of statues, however, one of Christopher Columbus in the city of Columbus outside of City Hall was removed. However, many people in the city wanted to see more change happen. This included the name of the city being changed. Many felt that having this city named after someone who brought brought so much misery to so many people felt a little outdated. So what new name could the city go by instead? Well, the most popular option was none other than the name of Flavortown. This name might sound a little strange to people not all too familiar with it, and you are not mistaken, it is a really strange name. There is a reason this name was chosen as the potential replacement name for the city though, and it has to do with a different national hero of the United States, and one who is actually from Columbus, Ohio. That being Guy Fieri. Now, Guy Fieri isn't quite as well known as Christopher Columbus, so for the uninitiated, let me clue you in. Guy Fieri is a restaurateur and author, though is best known for being the host of food shows on the Food Network like Guy's Big Bites and Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives. He is also known for his bombastic and enthusiastic personality, as well as his signature look of blonde frosted tips, a little beard, sunglasses and fiery shirts. He is basically the Mickey Mouse of the food network. He also seems to be an incredibly nice guy as well. He has done a lot of good things with his fame, like helping businesses during the COVID-19 pandemic, fed people during wildfires in
in California and even officiated 101 gay weddings in retaliation to Florida's ban on same-sex marriages. He also founded the Guy Fieri Foundation, a charity that aims to uplift and support people through food and cooking. In a world where many people seemingly turn out to be less than pleasant, Guy seems to remain a beam of positivity and niceness. A literal nice guy. You can probably start to understand why people would want the city of Columbus to be named after him. Known as he from the city, he's very popular and has done a ton of good for the world, from his philanthropy to his food. Though why Flavortown specifically, as opposed to say Guyville or Fieriopolis? Well, that's due to the fact that Flavortown is his catchphrase of sorts, saying that good food transports him to this location. This name makes more sense as already a fairly town sounding name, like it has town in it so often the bat it's just perfect. It seems that the initial idea to rename Columbus, Ohio to Flavortown was the brainchild of one Tyler Woodbridge. He set up a petition on change.org to rename the town and said on the matter, Columbus is an amazing city, but one whose name is tarnished by the very name itself. Its namesake, Christopher Columbus, is in the bad place because of all of his raping, slave trading, and genocide. That's not exactly a proud legacy. Why not rename the city Flavortown? This new name is twofold. For one, it honors Central Ohio's proud heritage as a culinary crossroad and one of the nation's largest test markets for the food industry. Secondly, Chef Leprosy, Guy Fieri, was born in Columbus, so naming the city in his honor, he's such a good dude really, would be superior to its current nomenclature. I'm not up to date on my Columbus town charter, so whether it takes a council vote or a petition or a town referendum, let's get the ball rolling for a more flavorful tomorrow. So it seems that this name is appropriate not just because of Guy, but also because of Columbus's history with the food industry, something I didn't know going into this video. This petition caught on pretty quickly to say the least. This happened for a couple of reasons. First, it was off the bat of the Black Lives Matters protests. If this was going to gain traction at any time, it was during that moment, when conversations about changing names was at its most relevant, and the comical nature of it allowed it to gain attention too. Also, it was during the COVID-19 pandemic. If you're watching this in the far future, I can't reiterate just how little we had to keep us occupied during that time period. Like, so much strange stuff just exploded in popularity due to it. The petition gained thousands upon thousands of signatures, and at the time of writing, it is sitting on just over 130,000 signatures. This led to many articles on the matter popping up across the internet, and even Guy himself commenting on the matter saying, I don't know all the details, I'm not the one behind this, I'm not the one instigating it. It. Am I flattered? Yes. Do I think there's a lot going on and a lot of decisions need to be made before this happens? Yes. If anything like this were to really come about, of course, I would be there. So it seems that it may potentially have the big man's blessing. Though it seems that nothing ever really came of it. As the aftermath of George Floyd's death died down, the conversation around names like this had died down too. But the potential name change has cemented itself as a part of internet law and a part of that whole movement over the summer of 2020. Suffice to say, this is all rather silly on the surface, but what it does is open up a larger conversation about the issues with names like Columbus in a fun and engaging way. The names we have for a variety of places might not seem as appropriate as they once were. This petition opened up the discussion over what names we should and shouldn't use for places and what new names we could use instead. So if Flavortown is off the menu for Columbus right now, what other name could they use instead? Well, at Columbus, Ohio, already has a selection of nicknames. According to Wikipedia, these include the Discovery City, Arch City, Cap City, the biggest small town in America, Seabus, and the one I enjoy most, Cowtown. While many of these work as just nicknames, I feel some of the other ones could work as actual names. Just Discovery as a name would be awesome for the city. It's a great word and still encapsulates the idea of Columbus, once again, quote unquote, discovering the Americas. And it doesn't call him out directly. And if you still want the city to be named after someone from the city, but not Guy Fieri, we could do that too. A huge amount of notable people have come from the city. Celebrated athletes like Simone Bio and Jesse Owen are both from Columbus. They are both worthy contenders to have the city named after them. And a beloved children's author R.L. Stein is from Columbus too, though it might be a tad spooky to name the city after him. Whatever the case, there are some awesome people from this city whose good deeds could be seen as outweighing Columbus's and his tarnished legacy. Though if you really want the city to be named after Guy Fieri, you might still have a chance.
Well, a small part of the city being named after him anyway. In September 2022, Columbus Library tweeted out, If we get every single resident of Columbus to get a library card this month, we'll rename our main library to Flavortown HQ. This gave us the chance to have a small part of the city named in the man's honor. Though from the looks of things, this didn't seem to actually happen. But regardless, whether it's official or not, I imagine to a lot of people, Columbus, Ohio will always be Flavortown. This video was suggested by Grey Computer over on my Patreon. Every Wednesday, I put up a video request post over on my Patreon for my awesome patrons to leave video ideas on. I then pick one of those ideas to be turned to a video the following Wednesday. So if you have a great idea for a Name Explain video and wish to enjoy Name Explain videos ad-free as well as get exclusive content and your name at the end of these videos, then why not support the channel on Patreon? It takes just $1 a month to help the channel in a huge way and gets you all of these amazing benefits. Visit patreon.com forward slash name explain or click the link down below. Name Explained depends on viewers like yourself supporting the channel financially on Patreon, so a huge thank you to everyone who does. Donating just $1 a month helps the channel amazingly and gets you bonuses including ad-free videos, exclusive content, the power to request ideas to be made into actual Name Explained videos, and your name at the end of the video with all these awesome people. Visit patreon.com forward slash name explain or click the link down below to find out how you too can support the channel. Thank you. Thanks for reaching the end of the video. Why not watch another and subscribe to keep up to date on all things Name Explain? You can find myself on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain to talk with myself and other name nerds. All that will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.